In my worst moments, I can be hyper aware of criticism. And as a pastor, I don't have to look very far to find some. Sometimes after I preach a sermon, I'll get a text message or an email of somebody who didn't like something I said in the sermon. Or, or maybe I'll get a letter every once in a while of people who maybe challenge some of my leadership decisions. Maybe something like that has happened to you, where someone commented about something you said or did on social media. Or, or maybe somebody speaking behind your back. The problem is, is when we become hyper-aware of criticism, we can be unproductive. We, we're not living fully alive in the present. Uh, I can get too anxious about making a decision about the future, afraid that I might make someone upset. Or I can analyze and fixate on the past decisions that I've made. And all that keeps me from living a mindful life, keeps me from living fully alive in the present. Well, as we look at the life of Jesus, we see that Jesus practiced a form of mindfulness. See, he had people had all sorts of opinions about him. Some people liked what he was doing. Some people were fully behind it and excited about it. And some people were cha challenged what he did and were very critical. But Jesus would not internalize all the opinions of everybody around him. He didn't let himself be overwhelmed with all of those emotions. In fact, one of his followers, the Apostle John, writes about this. When, when Jesus was getting all sorts of feedback about his ministry, John says this, But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. He did not need any testimony about mankind, for he knew what was in each person. See, Jesus was aware of all the different opinions of people. He knew all of the criticism that was going on, but he would not entrust himself to human beings. He wasn't going to internalize everybody's opinion because he knew it was in a, in a person. He knew that people could be selfish or self-centered or fickle or misguided. And so, mostly, he listened to the opinion and view of his heavenly Father. So what would it look like for us to practice a form of mindfulness and imitate Jesus? Well, maybe right now you could be aware and, and consider all of the different opinions that people have of you. Maybe there's some people who, who support you and there's some people who are critical of you. Instead of internalizing all of those opinions and entrusting yourself to them, look at them from a distance. Uh, evaluate what people are saying and maybe you'll find that some things that people say are right and, and you need to change in some areas. But then you also need to remember that, that sometimes the criticism that people have of you is not coming from a healthy place. Maybe it's coming from a selfish heart or a, a broken heart or a wounded heart. And most of all, we need to be aware and respond and believe what our Heavenly Father says about us, that we are God's children through Jesus Christ. So what it means to practice Christian mindfulness it means that not everybody gets to be in your head. No one, live, no one gets to live in your brain rent-free. In fact, you can drown out all of the different voices of criticism by continuing to listen to your Heavenly Father. And then you can live a life fully alive in the present. Let's pray. Lord God, there are so many different opinions that could be swirling around us today. Some people who approve of us, some people who reject us. Give us the humility to, to listen to those things that are true and be willing to change. But Lord God, lead us not to be overwhelmed by the opinions and all of the different emotions that are swirling around us. Help us to live mindfully, to live a life fully alive in the present. Amen. Hey, what's up everyone? Pastor Mike here from Time of Grace. Thanks so much for checking out this podcast. Uh, we certainly would love this message to reach more and more people. So if you wouldn't mind rating and reviewing this podcast, it would bring it to more people's eyes and we pray this message into more people's hearts. Thanks for your support and we'll talk to you soon.